What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Today is the day that I finally get to attach the DC5 Creations uh, Brembo TLS Big Brake Kit on the car. I got the new tie rods in, I got all that boo uh. done. Let's get into the nitty gritty. Without further ado, roll the intro and let's get this uh. started. So if you haven't, so if you're new to the channel, I picked this kit up for like maybe two-ish weeks ago. And today's the day that I finally get to slap it on. Been going through a lot with getting the car all ready and stuff in a sense where I need a new ball joints, a tie rod ends, inner tie rods, bushings from the front lower control arms, all that stuff, dog. But here we have, if you've never seen this color, this is Sherbert Green. It's gonna look really good. I got it because it kind of matches the hybrid racing color, and I think that would be pretty sweet to have on the car. So we got the TLS Brimbos. So let me show you guys my uh, mess of a clutter, because that's just how I like working, I guess. But we got extended studs. I got the new uh, tie rod ends on, hard race, lower control arm, roll center correction. Um, I even got the new front control arm bushings. These were Moog bushings, which were made for R6, but they fit 8th gen um, arms. And they're only $27 each, and they're spherical. So if you need bushings, I'll be sure to leave a link down in the description box below to uh, that product in case you need, instead of spending like $400, $300, $200, I guess, I don't know how much it costs for like new arms. If you just get bushings, they're easier to press than R6. Uh, Randy said that, so that's something that I can note now that like, yeah, but, anywho. Cold pizza, Tuesday. Tuesday. I got food up in the fridge. Y'all keep looking for that new way. I think I like it how it is. Tuesday. I got food up in the fridge. Y'all keep looking for a new wave. All right, fam. So I was a bit confused. I never had a brake system where it utilizes one of these things. So in case you're doing this at home or whatever the hell. Um, you want to put the bottom one on first and then you invert it like this and then when you have it like this You got to just push it down and then put the other pin in there and it'd be like that So it holds the brake pads in from coming out I'm actually gonna be replacing these pads with some Hawk DTC 60s for my first track day um, Yeah, these power stop street pads are cool, but you know, I want to utilize where my damn money went so we're gonna put some DTC 60s on there I just got to make sure that I uh, clean the wheels, but these are track wheels, man. Like the T's were track wheels too, but I shouldn't have like messed them up the way that I did. But uh, yeah, dog, <laughs> it happens, bro. It happens. Everything is pretty much done. I have to wait for my girl to get home so she can help me bleed brakes. But other than that, we're pretty much solid, bro. Well, actually, I've seen this thing on TikTok. Not TikTok, sorry. <laughs> I've seen this thing on Facebook where um, this guy had like a spray bottle, like a spray can bottle. And the fuck? Bruh, y'all see that, right? What the fuck? God damn. As far as these pins are concerned, um, I don't know how much more I have to hit in. But I think this is fine. I'm gonna keep giving it some love taps and hopefully that, you know, get everything situated. But for the most part, we should be solid. Just gotta wait for my girl to get home so we can bleed brakes. And then I can finally put the car on all fours. <sighs> Bruh. This video has been going on for like, this car has been in this position for like a week. <laughs> and I'm still not done with the big brake yet. 
Let me tell you what's going on. All in all, the kit is on. Everything is on. I went back and I pressed in, not pressed, but like I hammered in everything needed in order to have this secure so when the brakes don't go anywhere, that's done. Come to the brake bending stuff over here. I bent it by myself and you can see how like a crappy job I did. Like, bruh, the line, bruh, it's just, it was terrible. Like you can see how angled the line is, bruh. You know what I mean? Like, I, bruh, it's just not a good look. Last night, I went by JB's crib, picked up this Dash 8. So if you want to do a Dash uh, or A in line thing to your car, uh, Dash 8 would be perfect. All you need is a Dash 8, and you should be solid. And I just gotta, you know, d fix it. I'm running Castrol SRF fluid. This is the by far the best brake fluid on the market. I wouldn't give a damn what Obama said. This is the best. Brake fluid. Just pay a hundred dollars to get you some React SRF brake fluid. I know it sounds crazy. A hundred dollars? Damn! I know what you're probably thinking. Josh, you got money now, bruh. You spent a hundred dollars on brake fluid? Yes. I am in debt. Surprisingly, there's no leaks with this. Like, there's literally no leaks, so we're good. Now the process of getting the rear wheel off and bleeding the brakes, and then we should be solid. Oh, never mind. I can't even throw my wheel on because these are plus 38s. And in order to run the TLS Brembo setup, you're gonna need either a plus 22 if you're running Graham Lyons or TE37s. If you're running RPF1s, you're gonna need like a 17 by eight plus like 45, some weird offset, not weird, but like a high ass offset. It's weird, I'm running a plus 38 or 35, whatever one, which one ever one these is, yup. Yeah. And that won't work. So what you need to clear this is a 10 millimeter spacer. That shit is also a hundred dollars, bruh. You know how much money it, bruh. I'm probably like a thousand dollars into this Brembo setup. A thousand dollars, bruh. But hey, brakes, brakes and tires are like the two best things to ever do to a car. So hey, man, sometimes you gotta pay to play. But well, shit, when your view so low. What you what? so honestly, I might not even be able to put the car on the ground today. I don't have spacers. The homie ant might have spacers, so we're gonna see. But if not, I'm just gonna have to full send on eBay and buy the damn uh H and R, HR, whatever the hell they're called, um 10 millimeter wheel spacers and just call it a day, dog. So I got the check valve placed in the new dash eight A in line hose. Now we just gotta install it. Make sure when you do um, do the brake valve, I mean the check valve for the brakes, if you are gonna run an A and hose, make sure the white piece, when you see it, when you take out your from your OEM line, it faces the manifold, all right? Well, gallifold, me rub the gallifold, cause it's a gallim dog. If you're doing your check valve and your brakes feel like ass after the fact, it's because you got it backwards, all right? So be sure the white piece on the check valve, you see it's facing the intake gallifold, all right? You should be good. All right, so peep game. If you have to bleed brakes by yourself, don't even fret. I got the easiest way possible that I learned through Instagram. So credit to the guy who did this. Basically, this is all you need right here. Crack the burrito valve loose. And then just, that's it. It's 11. Randy pulled up. Give me 11. Uh, yeah, 11. Good luck for that, dog. Probably over there in the toolbox. Uh, found the first leak coming over here from the, uh, I'm guessing the fitting, the, uh, bleeder valve up from up top. But, note to self, if you're putting in a new, uh, brake mask, I don't know what the hell I forgot, bleed that first before you start bleeding the, uh, passenger side, then driver side, then front passenger side, then front driver side. Bleed the damn master. That would, uh, help. You could mess up your damn brake, flu uh, your brake mask like me, because I didn't do that. So, note to self, dog. Well, it looks like my passenger side front caliper is still leaking while it's already tight. I don't know. It's stripped? Yeah, it's stripped. Which one? What's stripped? The, uh... The resin in the side. All right, I'm going to have to take it off. The bleeder. Oh, goddamn. Yeah, that's why it's not tight. Damn, my expensive ass Castro! Oh Lord, I'm about to cry. Oh Lord, bro, I'm finna go on the. Oh Lord, no, 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 no. So I am extremely bummed out because my caliper that I paid so much money for is clapped, dude. Um, I'm assuming 
Uh, uh, bruh. So, I'll have images on the screen of what's going on with the caliper. Yeah. I don't know about that, bruh. So, Randy was bleeding the master, and then he was like, yo, hold on, hold on, hold on, something's leaking. Come to the passenger side, check to see if the brake line um, banjo bolt is tight. That's tight, your boy did his thug dizzle. So then he was like, yo, pump the brakes. I started pumping the brakes, and then I found the leak. The leak is coming from the inner bleeder valve. Come to find out, it's stripped. It's completely stripped. You see the images on the screen and stuff, and that, uh, bro, we were bleeding the master. It wasn't us, we didn't start bleeding anything, so it may, it's just my luck, bro. I just get defect stuff that I spent my money on and this is what happened. So I don't know what's gonna happen. I don't know if it's gonna be made right. I have no idea right now. It's been like, an, I don't know, I don't know, bro. What was supposed to at least be a decent video of getting the car situated and on the ground and things of that nature, this is this is what happens. A whole ass caliper probably needs to be replaced. There's no tapping it. You can tap it, but it won't seal as good as it would be from factory. The calipers are cheap themselves, but then you gotta get it powder coated again, and it's like, bro, at that point, it, it's really no point. You know what I mean? This is a fire caliper, bro. It just sucks that like. It'll have to get redone um, if I buy another one. Now, I have to get this car completely ready and dialed for April 24th, which is a month from now. And with this holding me up, um, I don't know if that's possible. Yeah, it's four weeks, but then money is a huge thing, bro. Like, this shit's not cheap, dog. It just, it sucks, bro. Like, I can't do anything. It, <laughs> it can't do shit. So that is the end of the video. I honestly don't know if this is gonna get resolved. I don't, I don't know right now. I don't know, bro. And if you're thinking, why don't you just retap it, Zosh? Just tap it. Shouldn't have to do that. Um, this is gonna be a track car, so I don't see the need to retap something that's gonna like a critical point of brake failure. You know what I mean? Like retapping it, and then let's say it doesn't seal properly. I just think the whole thing just needs to be replaced. I don't know. We'll see if it gets resolved. I don't know. You guys see, I, bro? I'm just, I'm pissed off right now. I'm on a deadline, and this happens. Like. <laughs> Just my luck, bro. So I don't know. We'll see. I'll try to keep you guys updated as much as possible. Um, there's really no silver lining in this because it's a lot of money um, involved in this stuff. So there's really not. I'm trying to see the bigger picture here, but there really isn't one. I could just buy a whole brand new set of Brembo's, but then that's like for what? You know what I mean? That's just wasting money. And I don't know. So we'll see what's up. Thank you guys for watching, man. Um... Yeah, I, I, I don't know, bro. But thank y'all for watching nonetheless. I'll be sure to catch you guys in the next one. Whichever that may be, because that's delaying the stuff of the carbon fiber hood that I got. I'll catch y'all in the next one, man. I'm out. Peace. Peace.